Let's make double-sided floating photo ornaments with our Cricut machine. Let's cover the supplies you're going to need for this project. So you're going to need to have some sort of vinyl sticker paper. You'll need to have a Cricut mat, acetate, scissors, weeding tool, a fillable Christmas ornament, and some string. Okay, so I just want to show you real quick a couple of crucial steps for this um, photo floating ornament. So first, these basic floating ornament templates, which I recommend you use to insert your photo onto, are available for free on members.abbykirstencollections.com. I'm going to link it below for you. So this is what it looks like inside of the craft vault. And if you don't see it on the home page, perhaps you're watching this down the road, just type in the keyword floating at the top and you will find those templates as well as many other designs. Okay, so I just want to show you where to get that real quick. So here we are in Design Space. Now, if you're brand new and you have no idea how to upload a basic SVG file, I'm going to link another video below for you that will take you through that step by step. Okay, but this is the free SVG file you're going to upload via the upload button over here. And I just want to show you real quick how I would upload one of these photos to insert it into this um, ornament shape because that's the most crucial step for getting this floating ornament um, photo craft complete here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna visit that upload button uh, on the design panel on the left-hand side. And normally, if you're familiar, you would click upload image here. But we're not gonna click upload image here. We're gonna toggle over to the pattern fill option, okay? And you're gonna wanna upload a pattern instead. You're gonna choose your image. So for me, I like to grab photos off of my phone or off of things I've posted on social media and you can save them to your computer. Um, and then you will want to browse your computer to that location to bring in a photo. So here is a picture of my Frenchie uh, Liberty. I'm gonna select that. I'm using a JPEG here. Um, JPEG or PNG format will work for this, okay? Um, and I'm just gonna click open. It's gonna give me a preview and I'll click upload, the green upload button. Now this might take a second, so don't think that there's necessarily anything wrong. It takes a second to load this. So everything might kind of just go still on your screen for like maybe 20 to 30 seconds or so. And then once it has uploaded, you're gonna see pattern upload successful right at the top, this bar area. You are not gonna see it under recent uploads here, okay? So what you need to do is you need to hit cancel at the bottom to go back to the canvas, okay? Because we have to find this pattern fill upload that we just did in a separate location. So here's how I would find it. First, once you've brought in these free floating ornament um, silhouette templates, make sure you set them to the size you need. So come to any corner here, you can scale or at the top under size, type in exact dimensions. I have some more tips on um, sizing and sizing guides for this um, also linked below that comes with these templates as well. So you can just refer to that. So what you wanna do is select one of these and in the top edit bar here on the left-hand side, you're gonna see operation. You need to click on operation and go down to the print then cut option. Okay, just the regular print and cut option. And then the little swatch that's next to the operation. This is where we would typically set our colors. So it would look like this and we could select a different color if we wanted to. But instead of selecting color, I want you to click the drop down and change it to the pattern option. So you're gonna see a bunch of design space patterns that'll be visible, and then you'll also be able to filter and find or scroll through and find your own patterns. And in my case, I uploaded my photos as patterns. So they're appearing here under the pattern option. So here is my doggy that we just uploaded. I actually have a duplicate copy of it in there. And I'm gonna click on that, and it's gonna take a second to put it into this shape. This is called clipping. It's clipping an image into the shape of this um, silhouette ornament design here. Now our puppy here, Miss Liberty, she is not centered. So I want to make sure that that is fixed. We fix that by having this selected still. We're under print type, we're under pattern, and you want to edit the pattern. So click the edit pattern option and you can set the scale and shift it horizontally or vertically here. So I like to set the scale first. I know this is gonna to need to be bigger. So I'm gonna use the slider initially here. 
and then you can use the up or down arrows. So down is the negative value and it'll scooch it over. You can also come in here and make bigger jumps by typing in a number. And that was a little too far. Let's try that, there we go. And then I'm gonna nudge this up vertically. Well, I need to click it a few times. All right, there we go. So now she is much more centered and it looks correct. So click off out of these boxes um, once you've set those values and then just close this box out. There's a little X, just close it out. And your result will be reflected here on your screen. So uh, with these floating ornaments, I am doing them back to back. So you'll want to make sure whatever you've scaled your ornament to, duplicate it, and then you can insert another photo into the one that's going to go on the opposite side. Now, the last thing we need to do here is we need to make sure we actually have um, an ornament piece that we can cut out that is going to be our acetate that we are going to stick these uh, printable images onto. So make sure you have duplicated this. I use the duplicate icon in the layers panel, or you can right click and hit duplicate. And if you've already inserted pictures into all of these, just go back up to the operation and change it back to basic. So this piece we're going to cut out in acetate. These picture pieces we're going to cut out in a printable sticker paper or a printable sticker vinyl. Um, again, I have resources for that below. Make sure, of course, you save your project. And you can make these in different sizes. Just scale these templates according to the size of your particular um, ornament. So you'd want to scale at the width here so you're matching the diameter. So we would scale that here. So my ornaments are going to be uh, 3.74, but yours might vary. Here's another size that I use quite often, a three inch wide ornament. Make sure you save your project so that you can always come back to this um, and you don't have to redo the setup. So we're gonna go ahead and click the make it button here and we are using the print and cut process. So you will need to have a full size machine that is compatible with design space and is a print and cut. Um, so you can do the print and cut process. The Cricut Joy at this time does not do print and cut. So you will need a maker model or an explore model. Okay, I'm using the maker three. I'm going to click the make it button. So it's going to sort these out. So this mat here is where we're going to cut our acetate out. This is going to be our acetate piece. And then we would print these out via print and cut. You can change the material size for your print and cut here. Um, Cricut will kind of arrange it as it sees fit. And then you can click on continue. So you're going to click the send to printer button. And I do recommend if you can toggle on the system dialog box here. And what that will do is when you click print, it will allow you to select paper type and the quality of your print. Um, that can just be helpful for making sure that, especially something like this, when we're doing photos, that it has the highest quality print setting so it looks the best. Uh, I recommend leaving Add Bleed on, which ensures that you will not have a white border going around your design. You wanna make sure that it's edge to edge color, so I would leave that on. And we're gonna go ahead and click Print. And a lot of times the printer um, system dialog box will appear behind design space. You have to minimize that and you'll see it appear. So for me, I'm clicking on media and quality and I want to change it to best. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit print. Now, as far as the material settings go, when we print this out, you're going to get a pop up here for setting your base material. So for the acetate mat here, you're gonna to need to select acetate. You're gonna find that under browsing all materials and just type in acetate and you'll find it here. Same thing for when we go to cut out our print and cut here. I like to use the printable vinyl setting. Again, find it under all materials and browse it here. There's also sticker paper settings you can test as well if you need to. So let's go ahead and cut out our acetate and print out and cut out our photo ornament design. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and load my acetate first here and just go ahead and get that cut out. And you can cut out several at once as well. You'll just need to duplicate that in your design space canvas. So I'm going to get my acetate cut out here. I'm using that acetate material setting in design space. And when it's done cutting, flip the mat over and peel the mat away from the acetate. So here's what one of our ornament cutouts looks like and that's what we're going to be applying the photo to. So here's my vinyl sticker paper and we need to get this printed out through Cricut Design Space. I'm going to load this into my printer 
and we're going to get this printed out. This is eight and a half by 11 vinyl sticker paper. I will link resources below for you. So this is printing out just like it showed in design space here. Here's my preview of it. We're going to go ahead and load this onto our Cricut mat as well. You can use the green standard mat or the light blue mat. Line it up at the top corner there. I like to use a brayer tool to push the material to the mat because this ensures that um, there's like not a lot of bubbles or lifting going on and it's going to make sure things don't tear on you. So I've selected the printable vinyl setting in Design Space, but there are some other sticker settings you can explore as well. Cricut is going to first scan this, that black registration box, it's going to scan it and then it's going to cut around those photo ornament shapes. So our Cricut machine is cutting around those shapes and it's now complete. I've unloaded the mat. I'm going to peel the mat away from the sticker paper that can help eliminate um, any excessive curling. And here we have our fillable ornament ball. So we're going to go ahead and pop the top off of the ball here. And the first thing you want to do is take your piece of acetate. You want to roll your acetate up and you want to um, put it inside of the fillable ornament. And the reason we're doing this first is because we want to double check that it is sitting at the correct size and we don't need to do any minor trimming. So if there is any like extreme bowing to it or anything like that, then I recommend taking the acetate piece out and just ever so slightly around the curved of the circle, trim a little bit off with some detail scissors. Then double check it in the ornament again to make sure that it sits exactly as it should because once we get those that sticker applied with the photo and we roll it up and put it in there it's going to be too difficult to pull it back out if we need to make adjustments so we make those adjustments and we check that before we add on that vinyl vinyl sticker paper to the acetate okay so it's just really important that you check so that you're not stuck with something that you can't modify afterwards so I'm double checking this a second time after making some modifications. It looks like it's standing up much more straight uh, in the center of that ornament. And if you need to use like a weeding tool to shift it around to double check, you can, but it looks good to me. So I'm going to carefully get this back out. I just stick my finger in and I twist the acetate and the ornament ball to release it from the inside of that fillable ornament. And next we get to apply our photos. So we have our photos printed out here and cut with our Cricut and I'm going to pick up my piece of acetate and then I just like to line up at the top and let that vinyl, that printable vinyl fall into place. If you take your time with it, it's usually fairly easy because it is a fairly easy shape. Now I'm going to flip this over and do the same thing on the back. So it's double sided that way, no matter which way we look at our ornament, there is a photo. So I'm going to do the same thing, line it up right at the top, the crown of the ornament piece there and then let that fall into place, smooth it out. Oh, it looks really good. Now, if there is any overhang, let's say you missed it just by a little bit, that's okay, don't worry. Just grab your detail scissors again, trim it down ever so slightly. You won't even be able to tell you trimmed it by hand once it's in the ornament. And this will just help, um, again, make sure that it's going to sit correctly in that ornament and that you don't have to redo anything if you miss it by just a tiny bit. So here's my fillable ornament again, and now it's time to put this in permanently. So I'm going to carefully roll this up. It might take a try or two because it's going to be a little extra thick now. So you just want to kind of firmly roll it into a cone and then sit it through the mouth of the ornament there and let it open up. Now it's probably going to be a little curled like you see mine. Again, grab that weeding tool and sort of shift it around until you get it to stand up and it looks nice and straight. So I'm just gonna shift it until I'm happy with its position inside of the ornament here. You can see why it's so important that we checked things before putting in this because so it's so thick now, trying to get it back out if we needed to would be very difficult. We likely would end up ripping or ruining something. So that's why we check sizing before. There we go. So mine looks really good. It's sitting straight up in the middle there. I'm gonna apply that crown of that ornament back on, little hook holder. And we have this cute photo floating ornament that we made. It only took me about 10 minutes to make this. After the design space prep, it goes really fast. So this is a great last minute gift to make for Christmas. You can make a lot of them quickly. 
And then of course you can use a hook or if you wanna get some twine or a ribbon to tie a little knot and thread it through the top of the ornament there, then you can go that route as well, which is what I'm doing. I'm just trimming that down. And then I'm gonna feed the loop side through the ornament top, pull it through, and then take the loop side and feed it through the ends and pull it up. And now we have a nice little hook. There we go. So here's a close up of how that looks. Each side, floating ornament design. You can get the floating ornament temp base template for free. I'm going to link that below for you. You can scale them to whatever size you need them to be. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a lot of fun and you can make a lot of them um, really quickly and they're great as personalized gifts. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.